Hello everyone, I hope we're all doing okay in isolation and staying safe. Um, I thought I was going to do a really quick video today um, around about crowns. Um, so there's a couple of different types of crowns and when you're going down the route of needing a crown, say a tooth that keeps breaking or you want to change something in terms of it looking more cosmetic or you've had a root canal treatment, then there are a few different options that you can have done. So. There are some NHS and some private. The NHS side of things, on any back teeth, they will only let you have a full metal crown, which just looks like a silver cap. And uh, a little bit further forward, so for anything from tooth number five, a little bit further forward, you can have a white crown, but it does have a metal undercasing. The disadvantage to that is that, of course, um, as the time goes on, the gum recedes back, and you start to see a little metal cuff. So, um, and also it's all to do with strength. So with the private options, you have zirconia, you have got zirconia porcelain, you have got different things like Emacs, which is probably the best type, um, which is a ceramic, and you can also have the combined zirconia and ceramic. So back teeth where your bite's really strong, we would maybe think about a zirconia with a little Emacs, um, and it's completely metal free and it is a lot stronger than you getting a metal one on the NHS and also the advantage is it looks fab um, comparatively so there is always going to be a price difference under the NHS if you've got an exemption it obviously covers you for it um, but privately the options that are available are far more superior than when you can get on the NHS so any queries drop me a message stay safe everyone